Here is a quick guide on how to install Nightlife Remastered for Toontown Corporate Clash. First, this is assuming that you have already downloaded the content pack. If not, you can find it from contentpacks.net, link in the description. After you've downloaded the pack, you'll want to unzip it. Then, you'll want to open up the folder, open it again, and you'll see a bunch of files. You can look through these if you want, but the important thing here is the folder named Content Pack. Inside here are all of the files you need, so just go ahead and highlight everything here and copy it. Then you are going to want to open up your Corporate Clash Launcher. Make sure you're logged in, then click this gear icon in the bottom right. When this small window pops up, click the Open Game Directory Folder button. After clicking it, a new window should pop up. You'll want to click Resources, and then Content Packs. Finally, just paste the files from earlier into here, and you're done. When you launch the game, Nightlife Remastered should be active. Now I'll quickly explain what each of these files do so that you can choose which files you want to keep and which you want to remove. This is not required in any way, so if you've already followed all of the steps up to this point, feel free to stop watching now. However, if you wish to customize the pack to your liking, then continue watching. Starting from the bottom is the file named Nightlife RM TTCC, followed with a version number. This is the most important file in the content pack, as it contains most of the pack's textures. Just above that is the file named Nightlife RM Stickers. This file contains, you guessed it, textures for stickers. The reason why this is separated from the rest of the pack is due to the fact that content packs that edit stickers will break any time a new sticker is added to the game. So if Corporate Clash ever releases an update that adds a new sticker, and you log into the game and notice that your stickers are all messed up, simply go back to your content packs folder and remove Nightlife RM stickers. Next is Nightlife RM Music 2. This contains a large amount of the pack's music. Music in this file consists of gag shark music, elevator music, cog facility music, cutscene music, cog battle music, and more. Do note that instance manager music is not changed in the pack, but street manager music is. So if you prefer the vanilla corporate clash music for cog battles and such, feel free to remove this file from your content packs folder. Nightlife RM Music 1 also contains music for the pack. The music in this file consists of playgrounds, streets, tune interiors, and cog HQ music. And of course, if you don't want any custom music at all, you can remove both of the music files. Lastly, we have the file named Nightlife Purple UI. This contains the purple colored UI you see in the game, such as the social panel, sticker book, battle UI, etc. In the future, I plan to release a content pack mod that allows you to choose between multiple different UI colors, allowing you complete customization. If you're experiencing any issues still, I recommend heading to the support page on the Content Packs website. A link for that will also be included in the description. You can also join the Content Pack Discord server and ask for support in the respective channels. Feel free to ping Content Pack staff if nobody has responded within the hour, but please do not ping Content Pack staff multiple times in one day. And that about wraps it up. Thank you so much for downloading my Content Pack, and I hope you enjoy.